day everyone uh, my name is William Segege and I'm going to be presenting on the awareness of drug related policies among community pharmacies in Abuja Nigeria is a focus on pharmacies in the private sector so by way of introduction over 50 percent of Nigerians uh, studies have shown access healthcare in the private sector and a large contributor to this 50 percent is the community pharmacy and there are a lot of of hospitals that have community pharmacies just at the at the reach and drugs that can't be drug requests that can't be serviced at the hospitals usually get filled at the community pharmacy. So and public health practice in Nigeria is guided by specific health policies and everybody who is into public health, especially drugs, is uh, meant to abide by the, the, the policies. So all drug manufacturers, handlers, and users are bound to comply with drug-related policies. So while it is important to develop policies to guide actions, implementation of those policies is equally important. In Nigeria, there's a lot of slogan that we have a lot of policies, but implementation is the issue. And uh, why did I decide, we did, did we decide to embark on this study? We searched the internet to see where whether there, are, there is much awareness of 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 of, uh, of, drug, of drug policies among the private sector, and to our amazement, we couldn't get any any um, a, 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 any any publication. So there is no documented evidence on the awareness of drug policies among the private sector, and this is worrisome considering that 50 percent of of the population access healthcare in the, in the private sector. So we set out with this study with uh, the following objective to know if the current policy dissemination methods of the government is effective in reaching the private sector and if the private sector is involved in the, in the development process of drug related policies. So in particular, we had four uh, uh, objectives. One was to determine the extent to which private pharmacy practitioners are aware of two policies. One of them is national drug policy, and the second is national quality assurance policies. And both policies are important for the rational use of drugs and, and assurance of quality, drug quality from manufacturing down to the final consumer, the ordinary person. And secondly, we wanted to know whether the current dissemination strategy by the government is effective in reaching the private sector. And thirdly, we wanted to know if the private pharmacy practitioners are interested in being involved in the formulation process of drug related policies. And finally, we wanted to know if drug related policies should be included in the degree training curriculum of pharmacy professionals, considering that there we are the, the, the custodian, the, the experts in drugs, whether all drug related policies should be included in, 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 uh, in, in the academic curriculum from the university. So, our, our, object, our, our, our methodology is a cross-sectional study, and the study area is Abuja Municipal Area Council in the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja, of, of, of Nigeria. Uh, it has 15 districts. AMAC has 15 districts, and uh, our study population was community pharmacies in, that are in full-time private practice. In order to avoid any form of bias, we wanted to know, uh, uh, select, and uh, interview uh, and, and get responses from, from, from only pharmacies that are full-time engaged in community practice. And our sampling method, it was a random sampling, but we ensured all the 15 districts were represented in the study. Sample size, we use sample size calculation, it's 38 from our sample size calculation. Uh, eventually 40 people responded, and that is about 6.9% of the estimated uh, community pharmacies that are practicing in Abuja. Our study two was a questionnaire, self-administered data collection, and then we analyzed two SPSS. We ensured confidentiality uh, and, and anonymity as much as possible while collecting the data. So, with our results, in terms of demographics, uh, majority of our respondents uh, graduated from pharmacy, pharmacy school between the, uh, between the last five years, precisely two to five years, the modal uh, graduation age there is two to five years. And uh, in terms of years of practicing community pharmacies, uh, 
majority of them, 50%, had also mentioned that they were the practicing pharmacists between two to five years. Non, nobody was selected in the study who had been practicing less than a year, just to ensure that uh, we had representativeness and to avoid any form of bias. In terms of age, the modern age uh, is also 25 to 30 years. So majority of our, of our respondents were quite young pharmacists, and that's an indication that a lot of young pharmacists probably, when they get out of school in Nigeria, first of all engage in community practice, maybe before getting um, government paid jobs. In terms of gender, majority of our respondents were, were male, 65%, and that agrees to the statistics given by the National Bureau of Statistics, where majority of people in Nigeria, uh, the genders in Nigeria that are employed are males. In terms of working hours, uh, 60, over eight, over, over close to 90% of the respondents were who were, were work between 30 to 40 hours or more. And the reason why this question was important was just to ensure that we, uh, we, we get people who result from people who are actually full time in the community. I, I imagine somebody is working for 40 hours or more already. That's like it's a full time job. So majority of them, if not all, we, we assumed they're full time engaged in community practice. So to the main results of the, of, of the study, in terms of awareness of drug-related policies, uh, we see about 60% of the, of, of, of the respondents are aware of the national drug policy, but the number is quite lower in terms of the national quality assurance policy. And that is about, that is just one over one out of every three of them say they are aware of the national quality assurance policy. Just to mention that the national quality assurance policy is a bit more recent, it was in 2015, but that is three years uh, uh, away from now. And uh, in terms of where the respondent knew about the policy, our, result, our findings show that majority of them knew about the policy, especially the national drug policy and in the pharmacy school. And uh, a few of them say they knew about the policy in, in, in government policy meetings. And the major means of disseminating government policy in the country is through policy meetings where people are called and then the policy is being presented and, and then that, that, that is said to be having disseminated. But it's amazing to see that only 4.3% of the respondents say they knew about the national drug policy from such an avenue. Majority actually knew about it from the pharmacy school. The result is somewhat similar with the national quality assurance policy also, where uh, the least percentage uh, uh, goes to uh, government policy meeting seven, about 7%, seven say that they knew about the policy from government policy meetings, whereas majority knew about it from pharmacy school and the internet. So we went further to look at the conversance with the national drug policy and the quality, national quality assurance policy. So it's one thing to be aware of it, it's another thing to be conversant, because we want to believe that the more uh, they are conversant with it, the more they'll be able to apply it in their daily practice. And so uh, we found out that 75% of, of the respondents uh, didn't have uh, the national drug policy, and over that, 90, over 90% 90 they didn't have a copy of the policy in, in their store. But in terms of conversance, over 90, well, about 90% 90 of, the, of the respondents is they are not conversant with the stipulations of the national quality assurance policy. The result is similar to the national drug policy also, where about over 80% said they are not conversant, even though some are aware, but majority are not conversant with the policy. Then, our next objective was to know, look at the involvement in the policy development process and to know whether the, the community pharmacies in the private sector are, would like to be uh, involved in the development process of drug related policies. Or 100%, all of them think they, it's important, they see a need that pharmacies should be involved in any policy that is drug related. However, uh, only 10% have participated in the, in the development process of any national drug related policies. Uh, but their interest is there as over 90% say they are interested in, in being involved in the development process. 
In terms of dissemination strategy, this is our third objective to know whether uh, uh, the, the current dissemination strategy is effective in reaching the, the private sector. In this case, we're looking at the community pharmacy. And amazingly, two out of every three of the respondents strongly disagree that the current strategy used by the government, which is a policy uh, meetings, is ineffective in reaching the community. And so the government will need to do something different in order to reach them. So we ask them what then is the best means of, of, of reaching the community pharmacies if you want to, if you want to disseminate policies. And the uh, majority of them says they should use the, the regulatory body. And in this case, in Nigeria, is the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria. Pharmacist Council of Nigeria is responsible for regulatory pharmacy practice in the country. And community practice, with every community practice, will at least have a contact once a year with the PCN because they will have to go for renewal of license and, and, uh, and regulatory uh, obligations. And so majority of them say that if the policies are available through the regulatory body, then they will have easy access to them. And then more, quite a number of them also said the uh, hard policy, if the hard policy documents are also available, preferably through the 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 the, 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 pharma, the pharmacist council of Nigeria, they will be easily accessed by them. Then five, our final objective was to see whether inclusion of drug related policies will be something meaningful from their perspective. And from our results. Uh, over 70% strongly agree that the drug related policy should be included in the degree training of pharmacists, and 23% agree, and just very few, uh, just about 2% disagree that it should not be included. So, in conclusion, so in, co in combining both policies, awareness of both policies, only one quarter of the pharmacists to be aware of both the national drug policy. And national quality assurance policy, and these are two key policies that that are important for pharmacy practice, uh, drug, any practice that involves drug use in the country. And then, in terms of those who are conversant with the stipulations, only 10% are conversant with the stipulation. This is worrisome, considering in uh, a country where over 50% of, of of the population access healthcare in the private sector, and community practice contribute largely to that to that number. So, current policy dissemination strategy by the government is inadequate. In reaching the private sector and the preferred means of policy dissemination to private pharmacists, uh, strongly the government will we need to consider the, regu the regulatory body and we need to also make more available the hard copy policy document and then they will also need to use the internet and social media. And that most community pharmacists would like to contribute to the development of drug policies in the country and most pharmacists in the private sector recommend that drug related policies should be included in the training curriculum of pharmacy students. And this finally, our recommendations from this study is that for government to in, improve our, the awareness of drug related policies among the private sector, the government will need to leverage the regulatory bodies like the PCN for pharmacies and other regulatory bodies for other, other professional bodies to disseminate and enforce the policies because these people uh, get uh, facial contact with these regulatory bodies at least once a year. And so it will the maximum lead time it will take for your policy to get to them will, will, will be expected to be one. Thank you so much. Uh, then the Mr. internet and social media, a regulatory and now we move a policy to repository website session. will increase our access Dear and our relevant policy. Please uh, uh, raise the question so in the we chat We think box. that if the government can develop a website and share this website, this is an internet age where a lot of people use the internet. And so if the, if the, 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 the social media so we have a chat can box be submitted here. to this means, and it can easily get to people. And drug related so policies should be taught in the box, We believe that if so it is taught in the school, implementation and compliance will be will, will likely be higher in during practice. And government needs to increase participation of the private sector in policy dialogue meetings. Okay, I think I can see a question now. Maybe I can start answering while others I expect others to come in. Uh, uh, Roy. Roy, Mr. Roy says, are these policies not integrated in the curriculum? If not, what specific steps will you will do? Yeah, so the, the, the majority of the policies are not integrated. Now, from the results we saw, we saw that majority of those who knew about the, the national drug policy knew about it from pharmacy school. I am a pharmacist, and incidentally, 
I actually knew about this policy from pharmacy school also. So, but that is one of the only policies that we were taught in the pharmacy school. But there are other drugs. Uh, Mr. Mr. William, please now, share your email ID here in the chat box. Policy, uh, pharmacovigilance policy, other, a lot of other couple of policies which are not yet integrated. And um, the result, like the result said, it would be good to, to, to have these policies taught in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in, in the pharmacy school. So what next steps will I do? Yeah, so I, I believe that these results will be published and um, we hope that the, the government will be able to, to learn lessons. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. William. Now we go to the polling session. Uh, dear participants, please poll for the presentation done by Mr. Williams on the topic of awareness of drug-related okay. policies among community farmers. A pause on farmers in the private sector in Abuja, Nigeria. <laughs>